on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make an outro in Photoshop. So you'll see I've already got an image from Google and that will be the background and over here I have Visuals 2K Graphics Pack. Now this is just grey and I don't want a grey because I find it pretty boring. So I'm going to head over to Visuals 2K Graphic Pack and I'm going to head over to the gradients and I want this to be a light blue for now so I'm going to drag and drop this right on top and I'm simply going to press Ctrl T hold shift and alt and size this up so it covers everything. Then I'm going to come over to the layer type and I'm going to change it to soft light. So you'll see we went from this to that and that looks so much more better already. Now back to the graphics pack I am now going to add some smoke and I want normal smoke so uh, smoke that will be at the bottom. So I'm going to pick this one right here and as you'll see I'm just going to drag it, hold control T, expand this out and I'm having this at the bottom of the screen like so. The next thing I'm gonna add is a half tone. So I'm gonna come here and let's see, I will use this one here. I'm gonna drag and drop this here and I'm gonna put it from the side. So I actually pasted it so there's one on the left and one on the right and then I'm going to turn the opacity down quite a lot. So we get these little dot effects around the edges. The next thing I'm going to do is head over to the flares and lights and I want a vignette type here. So I'm going to drag and drop this on also here. And from the top left, I'll press Ctrl T and expand this all the way out. So this just gives it a more of a darker tone on the edges. So this was before and this is after. The next thing I'm going to add is from a textures and background folder and I'm going to add the abstract one. So I'm going to drag and drop this one onto uh, this like here. And I'm just going to size this down so everything is going to be shown on screen. Then I'm going to change this layer type to Linear Dodge Add. Now that is what we currently have. And the next thing and the final thing I'm going to be adding to make the background look a little bit more better is of course a color correction. So I'm going to go through and pick one. So I'm going to pick this one here. I'm going to drag this over to here. And this is now what we have. And I'm also going to lower the opacity on this abstract. So it's just faintly showing like so. The next thing I'm going to do is turn the brightness down and put the contrast up more like so. And then I'm also going to come over to curves, make an S sort of shape. I'm going to have the vibrance turned up all the way. And the next thing you can do, which is completely optional, if you come over to hue and saturation, you can change the color of what you just created. So you can see any color you want, you can change it directly from what we've just done. Now I'm going to aim to more of a cyan like here and I'm going to put up the saturation just a little bit. So that is now what we have. So without the hue and saturation, that's what it looked like. With the hue and saturation, it gives more light. So that part is done making the background look better. The next thing is of course deciding where you want the text and where the end screens will be. So I've just dragged all of this into this file over here. And the reason for that is because I already have my guidelines set up for where the end screen is going to be. And it's going to be in this box here. Now I will also provide a link in the description to download this so you know where the end screens will be as well. So the first thing, I'm going to add some text. Um, I'm going to go with at the top like most people probably do. And I'm just going to put thanks for watching. Press Control A and I'm going to size this down. I'm then going to duplicate the text by pressing Control J and just dragging this to the bottom. And at the bottom, I'll just probably put subscribe, like and share. So then of course, make the text look a bit better. Maybe add a stroke, maybe add a gradient. Um, I'll stay with that for now. And I'm also going to press right click it and select copy layer style. And then I'm going to right click the text below and select paste layer style. So you'll see it be taken over to this text here. Now for the gradient, if anyone's wondering how I created it, this is how I done it. And I'm actually going to change it to another color for the bottom part. So there we go. That is the final thing completed. I know I've gone over the guidelines. That is not a problem. And the next thing we need to do is select file, save as, and I'm going to put this as a JPEG and I'll just call it outro. Select save and I'm going to have it on the full quality and select OK. So now I'm in Vegas Pro 14. I'm just added in a black clip and I've also added the outro in and then I'm going to upload it to YouTube so you can see what it will look like with the end screens. Now while this is rendering, I will also link what I've just created in the description. For those that don't have Photoshop, don't worry, I will link it as a image as well. So you can simply just download the image and put it into your videos. But for those that do have Photoshop, the PSD file is also there. So you'll see the video is now uploaded. And if I play this through to the part where the end screen comes in, 
right there you can see this blue box we have around is where we can put stuff so I can come here create new we can add a recent upload we can add best for viewer we can add a subscribe button and you're allowed one more thing so maybe you could add a channel promotion if you're collaborating with someone you can add a link to a website if you have a website and of course you can come back here and you can select a video yourself or you can select a playlist you have so this is now the video I'm gonna play it through I've added the end screens and this is what it looks like you can see the text for subscribe like and share just about fit so you may need to be careful and aware of where you place your text but it does fit just like that but that's it for this tutorial I hope it has helped you thank you so much for watching please subscribe great um, peace